Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Today, we are going to show you how to jack up your F30 and put it on four jack stands. Now, to properly do this, one of the big things is you have to make sure that you have the right tools, especially because BMW has these, these jack pads. You have to make sure that you have enough jack adapters, and then also you have to make sure that you're using the appropriate jack stand. The other thing is because we're going to be jacking from the front and the rear central jack point, you have to make sure that you have a jack that's low enough to clear your front lip if you have one and can go high enough to get it up on these jack stands. I'm not going to spend too much on the exact brands and all the features and functions of all these products, uh, but they are available on Amazon and I do have links in the descriptions. Um, what's very important to note though, is you will need four of these jack stands. I have two already set up on the other side of the car. What I really like about these jack stands is they have this groove and this metal section here. So if you put one of these, these Burger Motorsports jack adapters, it doesn't slide off. If you're going to jack up a car that doesn't have jack adapters, or maybe you're just gonna jack your BMW up without them, it has these really thick, really nice rubber stoppers that just go on top here. Once you put a little weight on it, they sink down. They won't stick up all goofy like that. Um, these are definitely a must have if this is something you're going to be doing. Now, just to share with you just a little bit about the jack, you'll see that this is an extra low profile um, jack. You can see that from here to here, it, it's extremely low. I forget the exact number. It's like two and a half inches or so. Um, and it has just an extra long reach, especially if you have a lower car. This is a must have. We work on cars that are raised. We work on cars that are lowered. So we need to make sure that we have something that can get under those low cars. This is one of the only jacks that I found that can do it. Um, once you slide this under the car, it actually lifts the car about 24 inches off the ground. So it's great for something like when you want to put a lower car on high jack stands. There's not many jacks that can do that. Uh, we used to use the aluminum jacks, which are great because they're nice and light, right? The only problem is it's not this low. It'll start out that low and then it'll creep up and it'll get high and you can't get it quite under that jack point. Um, the downside about this jack is it's about 96 pounds. So it's really heavy, especially if you need to transport it. So there's pros and cons with everything. So the con of this thing is it's just really, really heavy, but it works amazing. So let's go ahead and, and show you what to do. Now, when you're trying to find that central jack point, when you're putting the jack under the front, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see. So what I like to do is I like to go under and mark it with some tape. And I happen to have some white tape. So what we're going to do is we are going to throw a jack adapter on here, just jack up this side of the car. We're gonna reach under the car and then we are just going to put an X with this white tape. So when we go to put the jack in from the front, we know exactly where it needs to be. So go ahead, throw your jack pad adapter on here and then just jack the car up a little bit. Okay, so when you're under your car, basically what you're going to do is when you want to draw an imaginary line down the center of the vehicle and then between the two axles. So in this case, this little piece right there with the hole in it, right in the middle of the screen, that's where we're going to jack. So let's go ahead and put a piece of tape on there and then we will uh, go ahead and proceed to jack up the front of the car. Okay, and once again, can't really tell it's an X from here, but X marks the spot. I'll show you what it looks like front of the car so it's, it's quite easy to reach from the front see there it is right there again it's basically in line with your axles and then it's right down the middle of the car all right so at this point we have a really good idea of where the central jacking point is in the front of the vehicle let's go ahead and mark the back Now, when you look under the rear of the vehicle, there's no obvious point um, like there is in the front. There's no actual designated spot. Um, so what most people do is they just use the differential. Um, now, it's very important when you have your jack, have it positioned more towards the front. You never want to put any weight on this because you never want to crack this side of it where the, where the drain plug is because that'll just be a complete mess. But um, just go ahead and put it right under here and then you'll be able to jack the car up and then get those jacks down. So let's go ahead while we're under here. some of our wonderful tape. You don't really need the tape as much in the back. Just a little easier to see in the front. All right, and we are ready 
to go ahead, let's go ahead and jack up the front of the vehicle and then we'll get the back up and then we'll be all done. Okay, so at this point we are ready to start jacking up the front of the vehicle. Now when you're doing this, it's very important, you never wanna have metal on metal. So what you can do is you can either use a towel, some people use a block of wood. I actually, when I got these jack stand, it came with four of these rubber pads. Um, I really don't care to use them because I'm going to use the, the Berger Motorsports jack pad adapters and I like how it doesn't slide around when you don't use it. So what I did is it had a, a thing that stuck out there, I just cut it off and I'm going to use this rubber pad to jack the vehicle up. So go ahead, slide it under, make sure you have it in the right spot and then just go ahead and just slowly start to jack the vehicle up. Now you don't want to keep your vehicle suspended on one jack forever, so make sure that you have your jack stands ready on both sides of the car with the jack pad adapters. One of the nice things about using the rubber that came off of these jack stands is A, it doesn't slide around, uh, B, it fits really snug on that jack pad adapter, and C, you can actually see really well where it's sitting. All right, so let's go ahead and slowly start jacking the front of the vehicle up. Now, while you're jacking the car up, it's a really good idea to periodically stop and just make sure that nothing has shifted, especially if you're using a towel or a piece of wood, it could get really slippery. It's another reason I really like the rubber. Everything looks good, so we'll keep going. All right, so once you have enough room to slide your jack stand under, go ahead and do so, and just make sure that you line up your jack pad adapter. Okay, so once you have everything properly aligned, very slowly start to lower the vehicle, and then make sure that all of your jack pad adapters are staying in place and then you can go ahead and resume and put it on those front jack stands. So just do a little bit at a time. So you can make sure everything's lined up right. side looks good. Now on the other side we just have to make a slight adjustment to so just jack the car up a little bit. Okay that looks better. Okay everything looks really good on both sides so just go ahead very gently let the car fully down. All right, so at this point, you're about halfway there. The front of the vehicle is up on two jack stands. Now let's go ahead and do the rear. Okay, we've successfully done the front. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and make sure that you have, again, your jack adapters on your jack stand and make sure you put it right where it needs to go because you wanna get the car up, put it on, and then take the jack out and you're done. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and put it on the differential. Make sure that you put it in the correct spot. Now, as you'll notice, the differential is pretty far under there. So a lot of times you're not going to be able to get a full pull out of your jack. You're going to have to have it at a pretty low angle and just do it a little bit at a time. It's perfectly normal. At this point, it's just very important to make sure that you have it on the differential the correct way because you don't want to damage anything. All right, everything looks really good. So let's go ahead and finish jacking the car up. Once you have these lined up, go very slow again. Make sure that everything is correct and in place.
All right, after some final adjustments, we're ready to go ahead and finish lowering the car down. Now this is just super important to show you where you should be jacking on your differential. You can see that I'm on the black and not on the silver there. Okay, lower that jack completely down now. And that is how you put an F30 on four jack stands. Now whenever you have your car on jack stands, A, after you get that fourth jack stand up, just go ahead and go around and just check one more time. Make sure everything is safe. What you can also do is stack up wood and put it under each tire, so that way if you had a jack stand that failed or something, you know that you're gonna be safe. Now to lower the car, we're going to do the exact same thing, just in the opposite fashion. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the back, and then we're going to lower the front. after you remove these two jack stands, make sure you go extremely slow because the whole front of the car is still on jack stands. So you always want to be very cautious. You never want it to fall off the jack stand. Here's a shot of the jack pad actually on um, the central jacking point to the front. Okay, everything is correctly positioned and we are ready to lower the vehicle. So again, just make sure that you go very slow. You never wanna go fast. Just jack it up a little bit, get the stands out, and then slowly lower it down. Again, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. As always, try everything at your own risk. Make sure that you use the right tools, take your time, and do it right. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to help. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to be a subscriber. Make sure you like and comment on our videos, and make sure you visit us at www.keysmotorsports.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day.